Hello, it's Wildman Rouse here, and I'm going to tell you the story of an amazing air-to-air -air shoot I did with the Vulcan XH558 on one of its last flights. It was absolutely incredible, so carry on watching to see some awesome pictures. Now, you know me for my wildlife photography, but what you probably don't know is that I'm an aviation and roller coaster geek as well. They're my hobbies. Now, this is a bit of a personal celebration of mine for XH558. Let's call her the Spirit of Great Britain from now on, because that's what she was known as. An amazing aircraft. And my first air-to-air, -air, can you believe it or not? So I'm going to show you a load of pictures, tell you the story, and at the end, I'm going to show you my top five Vulcan pictures and tell you why. So if you're aviation geeks and you want to see a lovely, lovely celebration of the XX558 Spirit of Great Britain, carry on watching. Now she first flew in 1960 and her last flight was in October 2015 and I flew with her just a month before that. It was an amazing, amazing experience. Uh, we went up in the sky van with my friends at the aviation photo crew. Uh, they were all a lot more experienced than me. I was kind of sitting in the back, not really knowing what to do. Um, everything had to be strapped in. All the, all the cameras are all strapped with tape. Everything had to be attached to you. And we're sitting, waiting, and circling and circling just south of Beachy Head. When someone at the front shouted out, Vulcan! Couldn't hear them because we've all got headphones on, but you could hear. You could feel the excitement um, in the sky van really, really start to increase. As so somebody started to point, and there in the distance, we could see this amazing shape coming um, uh, uh, down off the land and then turning towards us and coming across the sea. It was absolutely awe-inspiring because I'd only ever seen her at air shows. So to see her coming towards us. Now she came out of the sun, so I was able to shoot this kind of silhouette as she was just flying across. It just looked amazing. Um, she was below us, and as she started to turn, the sun glinted on the cockpit, and I managed to get this quite atmospheric one. She continued to turn quite hard towards us and try and gain um, height to come up towards us. Obviously she wanted to approach quite slow. We were doing uh, big loops and figures of eight. And it, ta it takes a while to get for both aircraft to get into sync because, of course, safety is the number one uh, thing that we all have to be really, really aware of. Anyway, she came behind us, and at one point she came through a cloud bank. And it was amazing. As she came through, you had these spirals of cloud going off in the distance. I just about managed to capture it in the picture that you see here. Um, it was just an incredible first start to the air to air. This was the first few seconds. I can't know how many pictures I shot um, in the first few seconds. Anyway, she started to come off of the land towards us as she started to fly and, and started to come up level with us behind ever so slowly. The wind of those engines was just incredible. Anyway, she came up and came up and we began to see the beauty. We could see the pilots inside <laughs> waving at us. Um, and then I, I zoomed out, I managed to get this real close up of the front of her and just so you see the skill of both pilots because not only, you know, the Skyvan pilot is incredibly skillful but also the, the Vulcan pilots are just amazing the way that they control this aircraft. You can see my view here out um, of the back of the sky van. This is when she was in a little bit too close for me. I shot when she was a lot further back, so I didn't have to crop out the sides and stuff like that. But you can see, imagine the exhilaration of just being there and seeing her, okay? So we flew around quite a bit out to sea to start with, just doing circles and loops, and we got to see her really, really bank, which was just amazing to watch her. One time she did quite a hard bank, and we were all leaning against the side. I was leaning against my friend Peter, who was leaning against somebody else and leaning against the bulkhead. And we were all on the side like this, shooting this Vulcan coming round with a wonderful contrails coming off the edge of the wing, the vapour. She was in a real power turn. It was just incredible, incredible to watch. And then she straightened up, and we had been briefed that once she straightened up, we were going to head, once we are in a nice formation, we were going to head into land and go along the front of Beachy Head, which would just be iconic to see the Vulcan in front of Beachy Head. So she came round um, and came round in a circle, and we started to head uh, into Beachy Head, and I started to then think about the pictures that I wanted to take, because I don't just want to take, so far you've seen some beautiful pictures of Vulcans, uh, but they're just Vulcans in isolation. I wanted to take them, because I'm a wildlife photographer, I wanted to take the Vulcan in its habitat. And it sounds a bit strange, but look, the Vulcan was designed to protect our shores. And so I wanted um, to take the picture of the Vulcan with the land, and particularly the coastline. That's what we all wanted. 
So this was the first picture that I got when she flew along the coast and we were still doing circles and getting closer and closer, which was absolutely amazing. And then I remember we got really in close and I was a bit worried about the clouds uh, gonna spoil everything for us. But luckily she flew at an angle right over the coastline. You can see this lovely picture with the cliffs below. Oh, absolutely magic. And she's almost mirroring the angle, mirroring, mirroring, <laughs> mirroring, I'm getting so excited, mirroring the angle of the coastline there. She was just incredible when she came round. Got some lovely pictures of her with the fields in the background, you can see with the wispy clouds. And again, I gave some space on the edge of the frame. Do you know what? I wish I'd have given a bit more um, space. And if I'd have shot it now, because I'm much more experienced at air to air, I'm a, I'm not quite so excited when I'm shooting. Um, I'm very cool when I'm shooting because I know what I want to take. Maybe I'd have took them wider. But I just love this. She did one amazing knife edge turn uh, where, she, where she just turned and banked away from the land. It was just incredible. Look at that. I mean, the, 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 the skill of these pilots and, and the maneuverability of this aircraft is fantastic. Then it got amazing. She flew in a straight line along the coast absolutely perfectly for us to photograph. I mean, it couldn't have been, you know, it, it was planned between the, the air crew and the aviation photo crew absolutely perfectly. It was amazing. She flew along the land. I love the different colors in the water underneath her here. It's not just a, a picture of a beautiful aircraft. It's a beautiful aircraft in its habitat, which is what I want to do. And then you can see in the next one, she's got and she's flying along the cliffs there. You can see some of the breakers below and her, her wing is nicely over the edge of the cliff. I've got her a little bit further out. I kind of leant a bit further over, flipped the screen out of the camera so I could hold it at an angle um, and get her a little bit further out from the coastline so her wing separates from there. Um, and then in this picture, you see this really, really, really uh, beautiful one there of her flying just along with the lovely line of the coastline. And that was it, you know, we, we, we had her, I think, for about 20 minutes, I think 25 minutes, my memory serves it. I, it may have been longer, I can't remember. I wasn't actually timing it. Uh, she did a last wing waggle for us, and then she banked off um, into the distance, and we watched her fly away. Everyone was on such a high when we landed. It was so, so amazing, I can't tell you. People were jumping up and down and hugging each other. It was, and I, I would never realize how special that encounter was, because of course, she would stop flying very, very soon. So I hope that you enjoyed uh, that little story. And what I wanna do now is show you my top five pictures that I shot because I think it's always important to look at your pictures and rate them. And I have a picture downstairs of the bulk and I'm very proud of on the wall. It's my number one. And so I wanna show you all five. So let's start with this one, number five. Yes, it's that beautiful power turn that we had. I absolutely love it with the contrails coming out and, and the different shades around the water, the exhaust coming out the back. It's just a really beautiful picture of the Vulcan doing a power turn, that's what we all want, you know, doing this really amazing power that it's got. And I say, I just wish I'd have recorded the noise of the engines. And all of those that heard her at air shows and everything else, you know what those engines sound like, they were amazing. Okay, number four is where she was banking along the coast here. And I love to have that coastline in the background. You've got the groins coming, you've got maybe a couple of seaside hotels, I'm not quite sure where it is, but it's somewhere along that coastline of Beachy Head Absolutely beautiful bank there with the coastline and the clouds, purely in the habitat. Okay, number three, this is the widest one I shot, and it's the only true top side I got. So top side, what top? Uh, because the top side had those beautiful markings, uninterrupted markings on it, it was amazing. And I'm so glad I got her against the cloud bank there. I've actually gone back and looked at these pictures to see if I had anything that was um, uh, slightly different, you know, whatever. And this was the best one I had of the sequence against the cloud bank. Just really beautiful. We can see all the markings, that beautiful paint job. Number two, a sideways view of her flying right alongside of us with the coast underneath. Absolutely gorgeous. I just love it. And this concept of aircraft in habitat. So what's number one? This is number one, okay? And it had to be number one because of the lighthouse, the iconic beachy head Vulcan shot. Um, just amazing, her flying along with the clouds, really, really beautiful all around her. A typical uh, picture of the English coastline, which I absolutely love. And I think it's a fitting picture uh, to be my number one. It's one of my favorite aviation pictures I've ever taken. I just absolutely love it. Now, um, to end the video, you can still go and see XH558. It's at Doncaster, 
And if you just Google the Vulcan uh, to the, I want to make sure I get this right, Vulcan to the Sky Trust. Now they were the brilliant organisation that fundraised to keep her flying. So when she was flying in the last few years, year on year, they begged and borrowed whatever they could and they kept it in the air. It was an amazing job where they've got this incredible visitor centre that's based on education at Doncaster Airport. You can book to go on an amazing tour underneath the 558 and hear all about it from the experts. So have a look at the link below in the description uh, and please visit her and support her. Now if you like this aviation video, I've got so much more. Unfortunately, I've got an awful lot actually with aviation footage in it and movies. In fact, the next one I show you uh, will be on my air-to-air -air encounter with the F-35 of the US Air Force demo team. It's going to be incredible. So anyway, um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Maximum love to XH-558 of Vulcan. I absolutely love her and I doubt if we'll ever see an aircraft like her in the skies again. See you for now. Bye-bye.